up and welcome back to my channel my name is Faustina and you are about to watch my 2020 gratitude video this video is really long overdue I've been wanting to make this video ever since but I have been caught up with 2020 Christmas celebrations Yes, so I've been caught up doing all that um, in the spirit of Christmas um, in 2020 But today I think this is a good way to start the new year to start it on the tone of gratitude So I'll be seeing a lot of things how my year my 2020 went and the things I'm grateful for yeah 2020 is that year that I can write a whole chronicle of complaints as in things that I think went wrong with the year for me as a person and as a Nigerian. I also had my wins in 2020 so not to say that the year was entirely bad and I had a lot of serious lessons and I thank God I learned at this point. This year I can see I've experienced every range of emotion, almost every range of emotion. I've gone from really really super excited and hyped and glad to down below very depressed very 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 depressed and i started this year like almost every other person super excited super pumped you know for us in nigeria this was 2020 our year of double double this was that year that the government promised us vision 2020 that this year we'll have pipe on water we'll have free education we have everything that we ever good roads you know Everything that we ever felt was a problem in Nigeria will be solved by then and in fact we'll be expecting to have flying cars hmm, and every other magical thing. So let's talk about me right now. At the start of the year I had an extra job that's um, plus the one I was already doing before and it was awesome. I loved it. I mean I was balling because there was more money and I was having fun. It was stressful actually but I mean I had fun. I was feeling like I was, like I was on top of the world. <laughs> then came COVID and lockdown. Well, life goes on. I had to move on. At least I still had one job, and I had to keep staying grateful and just keep, you know, pushing on until I lost my first job. And that was really, really really depressing but anyway life goes on and i had to move on so um i had to move on to other things now in the midst of all this i lost a loved one and a few friends and that's when it really really got scary really got scary i was so confused i was depressed i didn't know what to do and pushing out to people for help was an option and i did that but I quickly discovered that people have their own challenges, you know, people have their own problems that they were trying to, that they were going through um, secretly and on their own. So I really just found a way to just find strength in myself. In fact, one of the things I did at that moment was whenever I feel just overwhelmed and down and depressed and all of that, I'll just reach out to someone else that I know that is going through something, maybe we've talked about it before, just reach out to you to check up on you and to just console you and give you strength and to just know how you're doing and what's going on, you know. And sometimes when you just hear other people's problems, you just remember that, come on, what you think is your problem is really child's play as you're like, ah, someone is going through something bigger than yours you know there's a reason for you to be grateful and that brings me to one of the lessons i learned in 2020 and that's resilience um i had to learn to find strength in myself and how to bounce back and not rely on someone else and this really helped me get closer to god because i had to pray a lot i had to seek counsel from god i just had to pour my heart in the place of prayer you know i had to just know how to be strong on my own. In the midst of all of that scarcity for me, I found, I was able to, um, I got opportunities also. I was able to collaborate with a few friends that we should have for a long time and um, just work with them and be open to other opportunities. I'm looking forward to things that I will do together with these friends of mine in 2021 also. Moving on to 2021, no overhyping, no overhyping this year, no overhyping. 
do i have big plans do i have big goals do i have big dreams of course yes i won't let what happened in 2020 um make me not be optimistic about the year 2021 all i have to do is just re-strategize and plan and then yeah move forward i am loving and trusting god more i am living in the moment i am protecting my mental health i am being productive i'm maintaining a positive mindset and just minding my business doing my thing all the way now about resolutions for those people who have talked about resolutions and all i've grown past that like way past that like since i don't do resolutions anymore because i believe that um time passage of time is just a continuum what makes every day different is your, are your decisions yeah so if you want to do something do it right now you don't have to wait for the time to be 12 o'clock before you start doing it or for a new day to be done before you start doing it do it right right now as we speak yeah face it and do it right now so that's it so happy 2021 to you all and may your 2021 be prosperous yeah i love you By the way, I'm wearing my natural 4C hair in cornrows and I'm loving it.